Now, let us solve the question number 79, exercise 6.1 from chapter 6. Here, the question is that 3 sin theta plus 5 cos theta is equal to 5 whatever the value of 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta. Now let us move on to the solution. Here he has given the value of 3 sin theta plus 5 cos theta is equal to 5 and let us assume that the value of 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta is equal to some x. Let this be as two equations. Let us square the both equations and add them. Then we get this is in the form of a plus b whole square that is 3 sin theta plus 5 cos theta whole square is 9 sin square theta that is a square plus b square is nothing but 5 square that is 25 cos theta whole square is cos square theta plus 2ab is nothing but 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 5 is 30 30 times sin theta cos theta which is equal to 5 square is nothing but 25 and now 2 square is equation 2 square is 5 sin theta minus 3 cos theta whole square that will be equal to x square here we need to find the value of x that is a square is nothing but 25 sin square theta plus 3 cos theta whole square is nothing but 9 cos square theta minus 2 ab is nothing but 2 times 5 is 10 and 5 times 3 is 30 that is 30 sin theta cos theta is equal to x square let us add both of them then we get 9 plus 25 is nothing but 34 sin square theta plus 25 plus 9 is nothing but 34 cos square theta and here plus and minus 30 sin theta cos theta will be cancelled that will be equal to 25 plus x square which implies let us take on the left hand side the 34 common then we get 34 into sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 25 plus x square which implies we have the identity that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 therefore we can write that 34 is equal to 25 plus x square which implies x square is equal to 34 minus 25 that is nothing but 9 which implies x is equal to square root of 9 that is nothing but plus or minus 3 